guys, it's Felicity here and welcome back or to my channel. So again, this is going to be my last video before Christmas. So the next time you see me, it's going to be after Christmas. So that is why I have my Christmassy sort of outfit on today. So this is going to be my last video in my, in my um, ballet positions crash course for beginners and in today's video I'm going to be covering the four arabesques. So ballet includes a lot of different things. Those things are like, there are like a lot of different components but some I can think of at the top of my hair like grace, discipline, um, confidence, and then of course memorization. It's very important to memorize all the ballet positions because whether you like it or not I don't like memorization, you're going to have to remember them. And I have made three videos in this series that are about those positions, with the, with the first one being like feet positions, darn positions, to the body positions. But in today's video, I am going to be going over the arabesque positions. And the arabesque, position, arabesque positions are this probably won't take you very long to remember because, lucky for you, there are only four arabesque positions. Well, technically there's another one, but it's not exactly the arabesque, but um, that's a bit confusing. But just remember, four positions, so this won't take very long. So let's just hop into it, shall we? So starting off, we have first arabesque. So in first arabesque, you have the leg that is closest to the audience in tondu back, and then your arms are just like this. They're basically, the arms are basically in fifth position, except they're straight. But no, when I mean straight, it doesn't mean go like this. Your arms do not, you don't want to make them super stiff. You actually want them to be a little bit light. And on that note of the arms, you don't want this arm to be like this far up because most of the time, like, unless they want you to put your arm this high up, you're not going to have this arm just, like, all the way up here. You actually want this arm to be just below your nose, and then your side arm is going to be at that same length. So if you remember, um, Crosse Derriere from my, uh, five positions video, second year best should be pretty easy. But if you don't remember what Crosse Derriere is, it basically means that your leg that is closest to the back, so if I'm facing this way, it would be this leg, and if I'm facing the other way, it would be this leg, or this leg will be facing to the back, and then your legs are crossed. And then the leg, and then the same arm as your working leg, is in tondu in third. So basically, this is, ba so for second arabesque, you're basically just going to drop this arm down to first and just strain it like you did here. So, yeah, so basically this is just um, croise derriere, but the arms are different. And then on this side, it would be this. So, I said this in my arm position video, but I'll say it again. Every position in ballet comes from another position, which is, again, a good reason why you need to know all this stuff, because if you know one position, then you'll know another one. So, for example, like, so for, like, the example that I just used, Basically, croise derriere, second arabesque comes from croise derriere. So, yeah. So, for third arabesque, we're basically just going to take the same position we had for second arabesque, and we're just going to take this arm that's to the side and just bring it back. So, now our back is reaching towards the wall. So, then if you have this, so like this just gives you third arabesque. So, yeah, basically, this is just second arabesque, but you move the arm and then your back should be facing towards the back wall. So before I go on to the last arabesque, which is fourth arabesque, I'm actually gonna be talking about another arabesque, which is called, which is, it kind of is an arabesque, but kind of not. It's called the Shaketti third arabesque. So you remember what a fosse derriere is, right? Basically in a fosse derriere, our legs are open to the audience, and then the leg closest to the front is in the back. So you don't need to know the arms for a fosse derriere, because the arms would be like this, but that doesn't matter for this position, you just need to know the legs. So basically, you're just going to take 
the same arm as the working leg, and you're going to bring that arm sort of at like, not all the way up here, but sort of like up to this level. And then you're going to take the other one and just put it basically, say it would be like the same level as if it were to the side. So basically, if you were to look at this, it would be kind of making almost a, you would almost be making like a 45 degree angle with your arms. So again, for forward third best, we are going to take the quasi derriere legs, but don't do the quasi derriere arms. I'm going to show you what you're going to do with the arms. So with the arms in this position, we're going to take the same arm as the standing leg, and then this arm that would normally be to side is going to go back. So it's going to make it so that your back is facing the audience. This is basically just third arabesque, except this time your back is now facing the audience. And then if I were to turn to this side, it would be like this. So that is fourth arabesque. Again, it's like third arabesque. It's like third arabesque, but um, instead of your back facing the back wall, it is now facing the audience. But anyways guys, this is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this on my channel. But anyways guys, I hope you had a great day, night, or afternoon, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas! Bye guys!